Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my, through my, fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you, with a case against another, dare to bring it to the just for judgment? instead of to the holy ones do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world if the world is to be judged by you are you unqualified for the lowest law courts do you not know that we will judge angels then why not everyday matters if therefore you have courts to everyday matters do you see as judges people of no standing in the church. I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? But rather, brother goes to court against brother and that before unbelievers. Now indeed then it is in any case a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let our, yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. That is what some of you used to be, but now you have had yourselves washed. You are sanctified. You are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their coaches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Please stand. Hallelujah, 
I chose you from the world that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of a level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of the people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Napakaganda po ng ating Ibanghelyo ngayong araw na ito sapagkat umpisa pa lang ng ating pagbabasa na banggit po noon na ang ating Panginoon ay nagdasal sa bundok. Sabi, Jesus departed to the mountain to pray. Alam niyo po, ang ating Panginoon, kahit sa ibang gospel, mahilig po siya magdasal sa deserts and mountains, sa mga desyerto at mga bundok. Gusto nila mapag-isa, gusto nila ng katahimikan. Pero bakit nga ba sa desyerto at sa mga bundok nagdarasal ang ating Panginoon? Ang nakikita ko lamang po dito is nais ng Panginoon na mawala yung mga distractions. Sometimes, alam niyo po kasi ang Panginoon, sikat siya nung panahon niya yun. Nung panahon niya, sinusundan siya ng maraming tao. At marami kasing gumagaling, no? Preaching, pagsasalita, pang pangangaral, and healing. Ito po yung mga ministry na talagang gusto ng mga tao, kaya sinusundan siya. Pero alam din ng Panginoon, mapapagod siya kapag sinundan niya yun. Kaya naman, nais niya minsan, siya po ay magdasal. Kung saan siya po ay mapag-isa sa bundok o kaya naman po ay sa disyerto. Sa panahon po natin ngayon, napakandaming distractions. Kung mapapansin niyo po, no? hindi lang pong oras ang distracted. Ano? Our attention is also under attack brought by the technology. Madalas ko pong sinasabi, minsan pag nag-open ka ng Facebook, YouTube, nanonood ka, minsan di mo na alam. Akala mo, 15 minutes lang, 30 minutes na. Minsan, di mo napapansin yung mga shorts or reels na parang short lang naman na video, pero inabot ka na ng isang oras, minsan two hours, naubos na yung oras mo. You're distracted, di ba? At syempre, binabayaran po sila para to distract us. So if we are not aware, mauubos ang oras mo. Bukod dun sa oras, our energy is also under attack. Kaya minsan, wala tayong nagagawa, wala tayong natatapos, nauubos ang oras. But kung hindi tayo aware, madideplete lahat ng energy natin, time and our attention. At nawawala na, kaya minsan mapapansin mo, parang walang nangyari sa buhay ko, parang ganon. Kaya ang ating Panginoon nag-iimbita para tayo magdasal, no? to invite us to pray. Eh ano bang meron pag nagdadasal tayo? Nakakaantok naman po kasi magdasal, medyo nakakaboard, pero hindi. Ang Diyos po, alam ninyo, nung kanyang binyag, nagdasal po siya. Nung bago yung kanyang temptation sa tinukso siya, he fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Imagine after ng 40 days, 40 nights, saka sa tinukso ng devil. At ito nga po, nung pinili niya yung 12 apostles, 
Nagdasal muna siya. Di ba nabanggit po dito, nagdasal siya sa mountain, sa bundok. Ibig sabihin sa mga major decisions, we need to pray. Pinagdadasal yan. No? At nung panahon siya po ay alam niya, doon si Agony in the Garden, nung siya po ay nandun sa, alam niya malapit na yung kanyang pagdurusa, na sa ipapako sa krus, siya may mamatay, nagdasal din siya. Di ba? Sa Gethsemane. And on the cross, nagdasal din siya. Di ba? So yung mga major decisions, yung mga major sa pinagdadaanan, mga pagsubok, kailangan natin talaga magdasal. At ginawa ng Diyos yun. At pag ginawa ng Diyos, susundan din natin siya. Di ba ho? Kailangan natin magdasal. O bakit tayo nandito ngayon? Yung iba siguro malamang na galing pa sa Manila. Galing pang Bulacan, Cavite, Rezal. Yan ang commonly na naririnig ko dito. Iba galing pang La Union, Baguio. Pero ano ginawa para magdasal? Yung iba galing pang Amerika. Pupunta lang dito para devotion daw nila. O iba galing pang Davao. Talagang dumaan dito. So, nagdarasal tayo. Kung ano man yung pinagdarasal natin, syempre nasa inyo na yun. Ano ho? Kayo nang bahala kung ano yung inyong communication with God. Pero hindi lang natatapos sa communication, dapat nandun din yung communi- communion, yung relationship natin sa Panginoon. Huwag po natin iwawala yan. Madalas tinatanong, bakit tayo nagdarasal? Hindi nyo ba natanong, ba't tayo nagdarasal? Actually, ang pagdarasal po, yan na lang po ang walang bayad ngayon. Lahat may bayad, din nyo napansin? Minsan, pati tubig na iniinom natin, may bayad. Baka in time, pati hinga natin, may bayad na din. Di ba ba? Pumasok ka sa malamig, may bayad din. Hindi nyo alam, siyempre, pag kumain ka, nakacharge din yan sa inyo. Lahat may bayad. Kahit yung data ninyo, kala nyo libre, unlimited, may bayad din yan. Pagdarasal na lang po ang walang bayad ngayon. ba? Diba? At alam nyo po, bagong pari lang po ako, no? July 22 po ako na-ordain. So, wala pang more than a month. At napansin ko, ang pinakamadaling pwede mong ibigay, i-give up in our ministry, is to pray. Minsan nakaka-overwhelm yung maraming ministry. Kala nyo po ba, nagmimisa lang kami dito. Marami pa po kami ginagawa. Sa ngayon po, part po ako ng formation dito sa Novitiate House namin. Nasa convent po kami. At unti-unti po kami sinasama na sa parish, sa school ng Letran Manawag. So maraming trabaho. At nakita ko, ang pinakamadaling pwedeng ibigay o bitawan pagdarasal. Pero yun ang pinakamahalaga sa buhay ng isang pare ang magdasal. No? Minsan pagpagod ka na, pwede mo nang bitawan eh. Pero hindi. Ito ang source of strength and guidance ng mga sa amin po at sa inyo rin, no? Pero ang tanong ko kanina, bakit tayo kailangan magdasal? Alam nyo ba tayo nagdarasal? At ano ang kaibahan ng mga tao nagdarasal sa hindi nagdarasal? Bigyan natin na example. May dalawang estudyante yung kukuha ng board exam. Yung isang estudyante, araw-araw nagdarasal na, Lord, pumasa ako. Pero may isang estudyante, hindi nagdarasal. Dumating yung time ng kanilang board exam, kumuha sila, at nagtake sila. After nilang magtake, ilang buwan dumabas ang resulta. Parehas silang pumasa. So, anong pinagkaiba na nagdarasal sa hindi nagdarasal na estudyante? Yung nagdarasal, malamang, nakita niya na kaya sa pumasa ay dahil sa biyaya ng Diyos sa Kanya. At yun ang itinadhana ng Diyos para sa Kanya, na matanggap niya na yun ang ibinigay para sa Kanya. Pero yung hindi nagdasal na estudyante, pero pumasa, hindi niya makikita na yun ay biyaya ng Diyos sa Kanya. So nakita ninyo kung anong pagkakaiba ng taong nagdarasal sa hindi nagdarasal. Nakikita ng taong nagdarasal na ang mga nangyayari sa buhay niya ay bahagi ng biyaya ng Diyos sa kanya. O ngayon, ibahin naman natin ang senaryo. Yung parehas na estudyante, yung isa nagdarasal, yung isa hindi nagdarasal. Ito'y pangalawang condition, ano? 
kumuha sila ng board exam. Yung isang estudyante araw-araw nagdarasal at yung isang estudyante na hindi nagdarasal, kumuha ng board exam. Pagkuha nila ng board exam, nag-take sila, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos agantay sila ng result. After a month, lumabas ang resulta. Pareha silang bumaksak. So ano pinakaiba ng estudyante yung isa araw-araw nagdarasal, yung isa hindi nagdarasal? Yung nagdarasal, nakita niya na bahagi yon ng plano ng Diyos para sa kanya. Nakita niya yun ay bahagi pa rin ng tadhanya ng Diyos para sa kanya. At yun ay matatanggap niya sapagkat bahala na si Lord, baka may plano siya para sa akin. Meron pa namang take two. Eh di pa naman siya mag-take. Pero yung hindi nagdarasal, anong iniisip niya? Ay hindi, baka hindi kasi ako nag-aral. O baka minalas ako. O baka naman, parang lahat sa sarili niya. Lahat sa sarili niya. So yung taong bumaksak, pero araw-araw nagdarasal, nakita niya na purify ang kanyang intensyo sa kanyang pagdarasal, bahagi ito ng plano ng Diyos sa kanya. Baka hindi pa oras ko. Baka meron pang mas magandang oras. Sapagkat ang plano ng Diyos para sa kanya ay mas maganda kesa sa kanya. Diba? Kaya nga, di ba pag nagdarasal tayo ng ama namin, dinadasal natin ng sundin ang loob mo. Susundin natin ang loob ng Diyos. Sapagkat yun ay plano niya para sa atin. Tandaan nyo, ang plano ng Diyos mas maganda sa plano natin. O kahit plano ng mga magulang natin o anak natin, ang plano ng Diyos ay mas higit kesa sa atin. Kaya matuto tayo maghintay. Kung ang Diyos nagsabi ng hindi, o hindi, pag sinabing wag muna, wag muna, o pag sinabing oo, salamat po. iba So ganyan po kung bakit tayo nagdarasal. At kung bakit kayo nandirito ngayon, dumayo pa kayo dito sa Manawag Pangasinan, bahagi po yan na ang Diyos ay sasagot sa atin ng oo, hindi, o later, o mamaya muna. Hindi mo pa oras. So, yun po. Please stand. God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. For every petition, our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church, through the Pope and bishops, may lead us to the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That statesmen may guide our nation to the future stability and development of our nation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may persevere and be faithful in the vocation of God has called us to undertake. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the old, the sick, and the lonely may realize God's presence in their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may rest in the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as we make these prayers, we come to do your will. Accept us in your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we do extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a jupal so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, her church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, God you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please be. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawa, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord in your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, crucifix, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. you 